Hi, Chris from PropShopInc.com here. That's PropShopInc.com. Today I'm going to show you how to remove a prop from a ski, wakeboard, wakes, or boat using a prop puller. What you will need is a prop puller. Uh, I have here the two different models that we carry. The Powertech Swivel Puller here and then the Propol PPF 101 there. Uh, the PPF 101 comes with a case, a prop nut, a wrench, key, and cotter pin and is only available for a limited time. You'll find the links for both pullers in the video description. You will also need pliers, a hammer, and an adjustable wrench. The first thing you want to do is make sure that your threads are greased on the puller so you don't strip it out. Uh, the PowerTech comes pre-greased and the PPF 101 comes with a little tub of grease. And then, so after you all have that all greased, uh, and you have all your tools at hand, the first thing to do would be to remove the cotter pin. So just take your pliers, bend it out so you can pull it out, and it should come out pretty easy once you get it straight. It may take a couple tries to get it. So you get it, you can reuse it if it's not in too bad a shape, or uh, as I prefer, I always change them out. Uh, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna back the nut off here. You're only gonna back it off two turns. You don't wanna take it all the way off because the propeller has a tendency to pop off uh, from when the puller pulls it off. So we're just gonna take that, give it a couple turns, just so we have enough room for the puller to work. So that's all you really need to take it off, because all you're trying to do is break the seal here. Next thing you're going to do is uh, the Propol PPF 101 comes with a, a string to tie it either to the shaft or to your arm or something, because uh, a lot of times when it releases, the puller will drop, and if you're changing it over the water, you, know, you don't want to drop it into the water. So I'm just going to tie that off here. Then on the power tech, you know, you can obviously use your own rope, but I would highly recommend if you're changing over water to tie it off. So after you have that done, you're gonna insert the puller with the Y back towards the boat on the back of the prop. So that's just gonna grab there. And then on the PPF, it comes with a little shaft saver, which can either be put on and kind of you know, work on saving the shaft or else it can give you a little extra room on there. So we're not going to use that because we don't need to. We're just going to tighten that on there, making sure that it's lined up straight in the back right against the prop. We don't want it to be on crooked or it will not work as well. And then all we're going to do is tighten this. So you can either use a block or you know a lot of times you can just hold on to the prop and that came off pretty easy. I've been I just put this prop on there. So you see I just undid it and it just pulled the prop. Sometimes what you'll need to do is you'll get this super tight and it, the prop just isn't budging. You'll take your hammer and you'll just, you know, you tighten it till you can't tighten anymore. Tap on, tap right here and it will pop it off. And so once that's done, we'll just pull that aside, hold on to the prop and back the nut the rest of the way off. And we're done. Now one thing you want to make sure is like I just dropped the key there. You want to make sure that you either have an extra key or that you keep track of that key. So 
Again, this is Chris from PropShopping.com. If you have any questions, uh, please send us an email at sales at PropShopping.com or give us a call at 800-634-8318. Thank you.